In Flann O'Brien's novel, The Third Policeman, scientist philosopher De Selby introduces the reader to his atomic theory, according to which all things that are in direct contact with one another exchange atoms and, as such, also slowly exchange characteristics. They become each other. Like bicycles and their riders, trees and tree huggers, or buildings and their visitors. The series Scores for the Body, the Building and the Soul proposes a number of instructional pieces, adapted and added for each specific location and building, here to be self-performed by the visitors of the showroom at Canal Saint Pompidou in Brussels. Each mini-performance engages both the architecture of the building and the body of the performer. Perform these pieces in any order, but for best results, do them all. Don't be put off by the historical references. It's all about you and your actual experience. If you enjoy this, do it twice. Hello, Bruce Nauman. How do you do, Akio Suzuki? Squeeze yourself into one of the wide corners of the back wall. Face the corner and stand very close to it. Touch both walls with your forehead and shoulders. Stay like this for at least one minute. Slowly move your head out of the corner. Start to bounce back and forth really slowly. Consider the micro-changes of the sound reflections. Imagine your head being a huge ball racing through a space of moving molecules. Think of a centimeter as a meter. Haven't we met before things fitting perfectly into other things block? Look out of the windows to the side. Slowly walk backwards and observe the buildings gradually filling up the big frames of the windows. The sky will slowly disappear. Stand still when you find a spot where you can see only one building per frame. Holy moly guacamole, all you beautiful hippies. Sure, Marina Abramovich. Did it work out for you, Lady Gaga? Hug one of the red pillars. Give it a good, warm, strong and long hug. Close your eyes and count to 40 slowly. Project yourself inside the pillar. Check this CIA. Press your ear against the window overlooking the streets. Do this hard, then lightly, then hard again. Make some mental notes and leave. Nice to meet you, Dan Graham. Go to any bathroom in the building and stand in front of the sink. Look straight at the reflection in the mirror. Ignore yourself. Elbow bump, Erwin Worm. At the ramp to the second floor, sit in the first loop of the handrail. Hang in there for 50 seconds. Peace, Yoko Ono. Wall sex, too. 
touch surfaces such as walls, floors or doors with both hands. Always have one hand on this paper and one off this paper. Try at least seven different surfaces. Examine the differences in temperature and texture. Much later, lick your palms clean libidinously. Wow, Hunter S. Thompson. If possible, go to the round windows and hang hat first over the handrail. Hang there for at least 30 seconds. Actually, try it even longer. Cheers, Wally Export. Go to one of the red metal beams at the back wall. Squat down and press your back firmly against the inclined plane, as if you are trying to disappear into it. Have your body, mind and soul be absorbed into the beam. Wink, wink, Willie Derner. Stand in one of the metal beams diagonally, your feet touching one side, your shoulder touching the other side. Hang in there for as long as it needs to make you accept this new horizon. Touché, Michelangelo. Take care, A.T. Wall sex one. While walking up the slope, lightly touch with one finger the highest joint of the wall that you are able to reach. Hooray, Andrea Fraser! Wall sex 3. Go to a wall with a rough surface at the back of level 2, 3 or 4. Let the fingertips of both hands run across the surface simultaneously but at different speeds. Get as much as you can into the smallest details of the structure, the little hills and valleys. Score for looking out the window. Go to the blurry window and stare outside. Imagine this is how we see things. Slowly turn around and see everything else with the same imaginative filter. Score for looking out of the window. Stand as far as possible from the round window all the way to the back in between the shelving units. Slowly walk towards the window looking straight through it. Count the times the horizontal lines on the window match with the horizontal line of the city in the background. Welcome me, many worlds theory. Go to the bottom of the slope to the upper floor. Find a place where the slope is still very slight. Stand in a perfect 90 degrees angle to this plane of slope, as if you are standing on a slightly shifted globe.
kind regards, Monty Python. Look for a nice spot anywhere in the building. Lay on your belly on the floor, arms spread out wide. Press your ear to the floor tightly. Slowly move your arms in half circles, concentrating on your fingertips. Find a good grip for your fingertips and toes. Imagine you are climbing up a steep wall. Climb the wall. 